From Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Temperatures may reach 70 across the Bay Area today. Greg will have your full forecast coming up. But first, though, let's get to your ABC Action News headlines. An SUV goes off the interstate and crashes into the front of a St. Pete home. The Florida Highway Patrol says the driver of a Nissan Armada going southbound on I-275 failed to slow down and ran into the back of a Toyota Corolla. The Armada then went off the shoulder. It smashed through two fences before crashing into that home on 34th Avenue North. Authorities say the homeowner wasn't hurt, but the driver did suffer minor injuries. Early this morning, two crashes at the same scene temporarily closed part of US 19 in Newport Ritchie. Police were investigating a car that hit and killed a pedestrian around two this morning. That's when another driver blew right through the roadblock, hitting one of their cruisers, then crashing into a pole and catching fire. No officers were hurt. Parents in Polk County and a neighborhood there are on edge right now after another troubling incident. Amanda Stevenson says a silver Hyundai Sonata approached her seven year old son as he was riding his bike. The man inside offered the boy $5 for his bike and in exchange, he said that seven year old could get in and drive his car. Don't offer a child or anybody for that matter to, to drive your car or get in your car. That's a giant red flag. Just 10 days before, we told you about a similar situation less than two miles away. Despite the close proximity, though, investigators say they don't believe these two cases are related. We have an update on that wedding ring a St. Pete woman lost last Friday while visiting Enchant Christmas, the holiday light maze at Tropicana Field. Jessica Garvin's sister sent us this photo this morning showing Jessica with her ring back on her hand. Her sister tells us that someone turned in the diamond ring, all thanks to our story. Santa Claus is coming to town to Lakeland tonight. He's going to be part of the city's annual Christmas parade. The fun kicks off tonight at 7 with a fireworks display over Lake Mirror. The parade begins at the RP Funding Center at the same time. The floats and bands will then roll and march toward downtown before circling the lake. And Greg, is it going to be really cold out there? It's going to be cool, Dia, but not as cold as it's been as temperatures are going to slowly start to warm up today. Still in the upper 60s, we are going to see very light winds out there, only about five miles an hour, so that'll feel nice. And I don't expect cloud cover to be an issue at all through the rest of the afternoon and tonight. Just a couple of scattered clouds midday. Temperatures will fall back into the 50s overnight, but warmer weather in the seven day forecast for the weekend. You can take a look at it right now at ABCActionNews.com. Remember what Lucy said? This doesn't seem to fit the modern spirit. I don't care. We'll decorate it and it'll be just right for our play. Tonight, you and your kids can watch the holiday classic, A Charlie Brown Christmas. You can see it on your ABC Action News station starting tonight at 8. Well, you can get news all day long on your favorite streaming device. Just download the free ABC Action News app on Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV, or Roku.